anything that's thou over a thousand K, I already posted it. I'm not Britney Spears famous. I'm not Kevin Gates favorite like famous favorite but i promise you homie like i already have gone somewhere in the past to now i've also been called on the ellen show i got an email for it once and i thought it was like a flake but like if i could do what i could have done back then i would have went on the freaking show before this all negative shit hit like i would have went on it but I thought, like, am I just, like, you get it? Like, if anybody's famous out there, they would tell you the same thing I would tell you. Like, are you sure you're really asking me on what I want to do? You get me? That's what I'm telling you. I hope you all have a good night. But that's what I got to say. You like not the Ellen Show. Yeah, actually, I got an email once that said to go on, I believe, the Ellen show. The one, but I was supposed to go on for funny behavior, pretty much like being funny. And at first I was like, so I'm funny? I'm not, <laughs> not because I'm creative, no. But honestly, Loki, whatever reason I would be able to go on the show, I was like excited to go because like, who else would get to go on TV and get to talk to her? Huh? Exactly. But I felt that suggestion because I low-key got scared. Um, and honestly, when I was dancing once in the club and it was someone's birthday, there was a lot of people there. And my friend's like, Oh, you know what? Maybe you should drink and you'll feel confident. And I was like, I, the first stage I went on, I didn't drink at all, okay? I was drinking water and I was nervous as ever. And I told the DJ to pronounce me, talk to me, you know, to make me not scared. And he did. He did. He's like, it's Rose Loca. He's like, it's Rose in the, in the stage. And he's like, it's... TH Loca, as in like my business app, because <laughs> a lot of people found out that I did that. They're like, it's Rose Loca. Uh, everybody watch her. And I got so nervous. I was like, you did a little bit the opposite of what I want. I just want to talk me down, like to be confident, but you talked me confident so much that I was nervous. I still did my thing. The second time I had to get on stage, my friend recommend drinking, and I did take a shot, and then she's like, you feel good? Okay. And then when I got called back on stage, I'm not going to lie, I was able to, like, chill enough to be not as nervous as I was, but I still was a little nervous, because it was only one shot, but, like, thank you to my friend, like, for giving me that rum um, for a minute because like it was rum it was rum and cranberry juice because she mixed it for me and it wasn't that much it was like like I told you she put one shot and a little cranberry juice in it um, and the back though the other chicks were making a pineapple and some something else I don't know what it was called it was a wine it was a wine they were mixing um, I didn't have that but I I had fun that night because I made a lot of money and a lot of people were around me and I felt like I said that little buzz like helped me to understand like whoa there's a lot of people but like it made me a teeny confident my friend told me it might make you confident a teeny bit um so like yeah, I did that, but at the end of the day, what I do realize out of all that is how even though I was a little nervous for my first time going out to even drinking for my second time out, I realized that I'm still a good person. Like, I'm a star, like, in my own way. Like, I still make money both ways. Uh, there was one time I danced on stage and didn't grab all the money. And my friend said, are you going to get all that money on stage? I said, you can have it. And she looked at me like, what? <laughs> and my other friend did that once too. 
Because, like, she's like, oh, because she made $300 that night. And like I said, you know, there's all different ways to dance on stage, but she made $300, and she gave me 100 of her dollars that night, and I appreciate that. She was amazing. Um, later on, she took my advice to have kids, because she found out I had a kid, and she wanted the same thing. I told her, are you sure you're ready? Don't rush it. And she she was. And she did. And now she took a break for a while in the club. And she had her baby. And I, I haven't seen her ever since. But my friend told me she's doing really good. And she started working another place. And my other friend that used to work there ended up working in a different pizza place. Um, My husband has worked in two different uh, pizza places. It's actually her ex-husband but I don't really care um, about none of that about uh, ex or fiance or any of that because I've had a fiance before and I still call him every now and then I haven't talked to him in over like maybe two years but you know like to me he still was an ex-fiance he was a cool friend except or you don't you know like he I'm the type of person that will be there for you. I have another friend that's my best friend. I even uh, talked about it on my Instagram. I talked about it just a minute ago. And I'm not going to lie. Like, I exactly said straight up, like, he's a friend um, that I've known for over 12 years. Oh, like, when I married my husband, I had a crush on him. Pretty much I had a crush on two guys. And I still talk to him. I still talk to him. Um, I could even call him tonight on my phone right now. I have two phones. <laughs> I actually have three, but shh. Um, but yeah, it's not that big of a deal unless you make it a big deal. But a lot of people want to make life a big deal, so... I wanted to try to do some videos. Let me check the food. It should be already done. Um. The same thing happened like the last couple days ago. That's crazy. I just laugh. Because people still think I'm scared, but the cops are looking for the people that were attacking me, so. And if they door dash me, it's even, the, it's more easier to find them than it is now, so. I don't even care. And they already said that, too. And you guys didn't get to hear the full video, but they actually said, like, if they're still trying to come to your house or whatever, then they're going to be here, so. And uh, I'm not going to lie. One time some guy ran into my yard. It was weird. Some guy ran into my yard, was trying to hide his phone. I guess my husband found it. At the time, he was my husband. Found it and threw it in the trash. He later came in back into my yard looking for his phone. And I didn't know that my husband trashed it. I really didn't. Because I was like, he's like, where's my phone? I hid it on your property. I was like, why are you here? The cops were after you. And I actually treated him like a mom. I'm not going to lie. I said, you know, like you need to be careful and not get yourself into trouble. Like with the law. And I don't know what else happened. But he just wanted to find his phone, and I told him, um, you can, I even let him look in my backyard. I'm like, okay, go find it where you left it. And the, I didn't know. I didn't know, because my man went to work. But apparently the guy came back for his phone that already got arrested on my property instantly when he came on my property. Yeah, so if people come on my property, the cops are usually here instantly, because it already happened, like, Already, the, like, twice, technically, because the other time they were asking if I was okay. And the other time, uh, somebody called the cops to the wrong house and called 
my husband's family, like I told you, that didn't have a location, but somehow they had the location. Probably better than me. I don't know Texas that well. I mean, I do, but I don't, like, I don't know. And then, like, the last time I talked to this cop, this cop was different. She just didn't want me to go on the internet anymore. She wanted me to actually get off all social media. But I'm sitting there like, chick, like, I used to do YouTube before these haters showed up. Like, I did YouTube in my apartment when I was 18, and now I'm 33. Like, you guys don't understand. I've already done internet since I turned 18. And I lived in my first apartment. Which people are like, oh, you lived in an apartment? And I was like, yeah, I did live in, but I had somebody helping me pay the bills, yo. And at first he was a fiance because I, I started falling in love with the guy. But like, low key, like that wasn't the person for me. It's not because like we just weren't connected. Like I thought I wanted to be connected with him. I was wrong. He was a good friend and he still is a good friend. I'm not going to get it wrong, but like. He's just not the type of person that I was looking for. And then I thought I found another guy, but then he was interested in my sister and so was the other guy was interested in my sister. And I'm not gonna lie, my sister just denied them. Of course, denied them because she was in love with their high school sweetheart and she got pregnant at a young age and she had her first kid, and now she's like uh, 12 years old, her kid now. I actually helped. I raised her kid in my apartment. I raised her kid in my apartment. Uh, when she, she sometimes dropped her kid off. She only did it twice. Dropped her kid off to stay with me. And I don't know where she went. I still don't know until this night where she went because I... I didn't ask ask where she went but I do know that she connected with the person she really loved and she's been with him since she was like 13 and she got pregnant like 13 and uh, she's had her 12 year old and that guy ever since but she has now six kids actually yeah six kids and they're all raised right and they're all like you know, they're cool as heck, dude. They're cool as heck. She has three girls, three boys. At first, she, when she had three girls, she's like, I want to try for a boy. And then I don't know how and what happened, but all of a sudden she had two more boys. But that's what she does, and that's what she has. And honestly, they're all race right. They're very cool. Um, me and my sister don't get along much. Uh, because we have our own opinions, but that don't matter because I still appreciate the fact that my that my sister's, you know, raising her kids. She, that's what she wanted. That's what she want to do, you know, and um, she's been with the same man. Like, yeah, she had some fallouts, like looking at the same guys that maybe I was into. And then she realized, no, nah, no, nah, they're just, you know, they're trash. Like she realized... I knew they would trust, they would trust, 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 you know what I mean? And then she just stayed with the same guy that she was with from the, from the first beginning. And she always wanted to marry him. And my mom and dad were like, no, you can't marry him because you're only 16. But like she waited until she was 18 and married to him. And she's been married to him ever since. And she's still married to him right now. I could call her right now and she'll tell you she's still married to him with six kids. So it really depends on the person. But like I tell you, you know, long lesson, my grandma and grandpa, they've been married for over 50 years. So when people always text me, are you still with Sam? Are you still with that guy? They always say Guy or Sam or whatever name they want to call them. Sometimes they call them other names. But, you know, I'm like, yo, you know, even if I am with him or not, does it matter to you? You're not dating him, so why do you care? Like, if you're dating him, you should know how long you're with him, you know? 
Like, why are you worried about someone else's relationship? Because I'm never worried about your guys's. Anyway, that's the story for the day for that. But um, I never worried about it. Is this hot? I was going to sing music too. But I'm waiting for the food to cool down. So I want to have some. That's hot. I sound kind of weird. Cool. I'm glad I sound weird. Blah, 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 blah. I'm glad I sound weird. I can't see you in the dark. That's all right. Anyway, I'm going to start my live up again because I was going to play some music. I was going to... I don't have my karaoke anymore, you guys. My karaoke broke a couple uh, months ago. And I tried to go to a, a cheap flea market. And it was already broke. Like the whole glass little part, the plastic glass was already broke. And they're like, here, try this, see if it works. And I was like, uh, I doubt it. But I still tried it and it didn't work. And I was like, oh dear. I'm never going to get my karaoke anymore. And the reason is, like, I used to have a lot of money, and I still kind of do, low-key, but, like, people keep messing with me and my husband's life to succeed to keep going. But we're going to do it. Um, yes, we passed our drug test over three times. I'm going to say three times, because someone said they were going to call the the... I don't know, call somebody in. So I'm ready for it. Whatever. Um, because why would I have my son if I was a druggie? Why is my son still in my hands uh, the two times you called them, dumbass? I mean, that answers your question real quick. <laughs> so I don't care. I probably talk funny because you didn't know... Uh, my son's artistic, uh, my husband might be autistic, and he has one eye, and me, I might have ADHD, and I might have autistic, and I might have fatal alcohol syndrome. I don't know if you can have all that, but then again, I found out a lot of things about a lot of people on this internet, so it could be any. Yeah, you're good. But yeah, I was going to start my live over. Oh, this chick right here, Amy Breezy and <clears throat> Amy Breezy. Hold on, I got to take a drink of my water. Okay, Amy Breezy and... um. Megan Grace, they like to talk about kids in a cage. I don't know what their issue is, but they like to talk about kids in ca cages. And I went and looked on her account, and she has a kid. And it just depressed in me. It kind of like locate made me um, a Karen. It made me a Karen for a minute because I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I hope they're not like that with their kids because... It's, does that make sense? Like, you're saying something about someone else, but how do we know it's about that person and it's not you reflecting on yourself? So it scares me. I hope she ain't thinking that way about her own family because it scares me. Boop, boop. So, I don't know. But anyway, I don't really want to say I know the facts because I don't. I don't know their life, and I don't get involved with other people. But I'm not going to lie, low-key, if they don't stop bullying me, huh, IP address, let's search them up. Because I'm getting tired of it. And uh, my, my uh, what is it, four friends? It's four friends know about how to search in people's IP address. 
and I getting tired of it, getting bullied and having the cops called on my house and DoorDash and all this stuff. Although I do have the cops on my side and like I told you, those four friends that are willing to do that. And then I have another group of friends that just want to follow me on Twitch and stuff. And and did you know, you guys, it's crazy. Because I found out that my friend wanted me to do Twitch. And I told them, like, I can't do any internet stuff. And the guy's like, why? Because, like, yo, my son's running around, hanging out with their cousins. You know, as in their kid and his cousins. You know, I'm not going to name the kids' names, okay? Just hanging out with all the kids. And the guy's like, why can't you do Twitch? Why can't you go live? And I told him, I can't go live because I have a bunch of people that are harassing me, calling the cops, CBS, and all this. And he gave me a look like, what is their problem? And I'm like, I I said, right? And I, I like, when he gave me that look, I said, right? And I'm like, I don't get it either because, like, my son is fine. And as he's running around, uh, hanging out with his cousins, you know, it's just depressing. Like, because he's hanging out with his frick cousins, you know? And people are just saying, like, my son's a problem. And they're actually making him a problem. Like, as in they're calling him a problem. Like, when I can show you, the, I can read the messages they said right now on this phone. I can tell you what they said. They were saying that he's in a cage. They're saying, like... See, you hear that? Do, 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 do. Cut pie because they're texting me on the telegram. Like, they don't give up. Uh, last time, I was gone all night and was gone all morning because I was watching a movie and getting ready to eat and go to bed. And my son went to bed. And in the morning, I waited until the afternoon to text the telegram. I said, look at the telegram. And they were texting me all night and almost all morning. Like, they can't get enough. And then I started blocking every single person on Instagram because I'm like, why am I getting this bullied this early in the morning, that late at night? It's at four hours ago to 43 minutes ago. So four hours ago... The 43, you, you're hearing it, right? Like, all night. Like, you didn't sleep all night, amigo. You didn't You didn't sleep all night, person. You didn't sleep. You didn't sleep. And you, te and you just text me? Wow. And that's when my friends are right. They have no life. And I don't care if you're here, because I'll be honest with you, you have no life, homie. Because I went to sleep finally, really good, and sometimes watch some movies. And you're sitting here still talk, talking to me negative. Talking negative. While I'm trying to go to sleep. And I wake up in the morning... And I don't even look at it in the morning. I looked at it almost when my son's going to get out of school. I looked at it around 12. You can even ask my Instagram because I put a video there saying, I'm looking at these messages at 12 o'clock. And they were just hate messages. And I'm like, so you hate from midnight, well, night, midnight to morning. Like, you were bored, amiga. Like, do you not have a boyfriend? You need to get one. But they ain't going to want to get with you if you're that mean. So that's probably why they're so single half time on their hands. But I can't tell you. I can't either. I can't either. You said you're autistic too? You know, being autistic is a good, good great quality. If I can get my word out. It's a good quality. Um, everybody is different in their own way. Everybody is loved in their own way. But some people just don't want to believe that.
W, what's W Y A? What ya? All level up. What you? What's W W Y A? That's terrible. I'm sorry. I don't know short short words. I really don't. I'm sorry, Amy. But I wanted to give you the chance, but you guys talking about kids in cages, I can't. I'm going to restart my live because I wanted to originally do music and I was afraid to go live after the, they asked if I was afraid. This bitch saying she's afraid. Okay, um, so yeah, that's funny, isn't it? Sorry, I made myself laugh because they ain't wrong, but they ain't right. So, you know, um, nobody can make you feel bad. Sorry, I'm eating some mac and cheese and I made crescent rolls. My son wanted also a Lunchable. I gave him earlier for lunch. And um, peanut butter jelly sandwich. He also had two therapies today. So, like, that's what I'm working with. And that's fine. Because, like, those are other people that know, like, I'm a good parent. And the last therapist that was here, when people wanted to take my son away, they vouched for me because they were a good person. Um, but also, like... Everybody switch up on the therapy after two years or a year. So, yeah. And I requested more therapy, by the way. I requested more therapy. <laughs> and not because I'm scared of my home like you guys are. But because I want to make sure my son has more, like, more... Education, ability to be better than you, better than others, and also hopefully be better than me. And that's the true fact. I hope he's better than even me. Um, and the thing is, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong, except for dealing with bullies. I need to just delete, delete instantly and not even like I need to put my mind past it like the moment they say something stupid I need to just gone so I guess the haters are teaching me to learn to just I need to dodge them and just leave them alone and ignore them and not acknowledge the fact that like oh they said this that that this I have kick. What? Does Sam live in a tent in your yard? What you mean? Uh, when we go on vacation, like even if we're going to Wyoming, cause we're planning on going back to Wyoming. Uh, you know where we took all the picture of the volcano? We are planning on going there and spending the night there. You're gonna either sleep in the back of your truck or you're gonna sleep in a tent. And you gotta build a fire. And if you're smart, people, make sure you have literally fire around you where you're sleeping. Because it's not only bears, but there's bears, cougars, wolves, and um, snakes, there's... Um, there's just everything out there. It's wild, dude, and Wyoming. Uh, also, um, we ran into a um, yacht, yacht, yacht. I can't even say it right. A moose. It's not even a moose, dude. I can't even say the word right now. Um, let's just say you run into a, a lot of different animals there. Okay, because it's wild. Um, it's also right next to um, the volcano. 
Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier. Dude, I told my man, I want to go Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens, but, like, I'm not going to lie. He's like, we only have time for one before we have to go back to Texas. Um, because I'm not going to lie, like, I travel a lot of places. I have a lot of money. Loki, I have three houses, two vehicles. Um, so, like, it's kind of gets rough for me when people try to ruin it for me to make money. So, just leave me the F alone so I can make money, okay? Seriously, y'all. Like, if you don't have no additions to send me any cash app to help me out, um, I have different houses and I need the money for it. So, um, yeah. Just stop. Yeah. Okay? For real. Low-key stop. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm going to start my live over. Maybe I might. And maybe I'll just log off. It depends on if, if you have an agenda. <laughs> Lex is unavailable? Good. She don't need your drama. She don't need your drama. <laughs> no, we're not friends, uh, Amy. We're not friends. You know, like I said, I give everybody a chance, but, like, I've seen you say mean things to me in the past. I have the screenshots, bro. I hate when I say bro. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, it's not bro. Uh, you know what? Stop with the bro. Shh. Um, add the screenshots, buddy. Homie. That's a better word for it. Add the screenshots. Anyway, I'm going to go for a minute. I want to actually do music. Cause that's originally what I was here for, and then I get I I get so distracted in stupidity, like I end up being stupid. So it's crazy. Boozy immediately needs to be blocked. She's homebody, homie, legitly rude. Is that supposed to be me? So I'm trying to learn to screenshot. Where did it go?